What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is probably going to be the last video we've ever made. Because Luke's KX is bottom end is blown. And suddenly the CR is going today. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Um, actually what's going to happen is Luke's bike is okay. He just ripped it apart. I don't even know what he's doing to be honest. He just got bored or something. Sorry, ripping it apart. So he's got to put that back together. The CR is leaving us though. I found a guy who's gonna trade me an LT230 quad um, for the CR, and then he's gonna give me some cash on top. It's a '93, which is pretty. The last year they made him, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, um, the CR, I love it. Great bike, but ran into some issues. Well, the bike runs fine and everything, but just this winter, if I want it to be ready for next year. With no problems, I should probably do a rebuild, new bearings, whatever. Be like a couple hundred bucks. Um, so I was thinking about doing that, but instead I think I'm going to buy the quad for winter so we can ride in the fall and the winter in the muddy season because you <laughs> really can't ride these too much. Um, and then in the spring, I'm going to be buying a dirt bike again, obviously, because I like dirt bikes a lot more, but I'll be buying a I'm looking for KTM 200 um, XCW. The guy should be your shortly to trade, and I'll give you guys a walk around on that quad when I get it. It is in pretty good condition, and, um, but I'll talk more about that when we get to that point. So stay tuned. We're back. It's the next day. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday, but look, we got a new machine, boys. Um, it's a 1994. Suzuki LT 230E, um, pretty good condition. Um, these back plastics are a little sun faded, and there's a crack in this side, but not that bad. Everything's pretty much fixable. Um, I already adjusted a few things on it. The wheel hubs were, I thought they were shot, but I just had to tighten the axle on that, and it's a lot better now. And then the chain's loose. I'll probably end up getting a new one, but this thing rips pretty good. Everything else is good. Suspension is good. Starts up right away, electric start. Probably have to clean the carb a little because full throttle bogs down a little bit, but it's really not too bad. Luke, what do you got going on here? So, <laughs> so pretty much what's going on is uh, this water pump here uh, started leaking right along, along these seams here. That's some JB Weld, man. All right, should we get a little start up? Be pretty good. Should I take it for a little lap? Guys, we got a new mic if you can't tell. Alright, let's take a simple little rider on. There's gonna be a full video on it coming next video. But let's do it. the rod blue in the bottom will bottom end probably just shred it apart. Did the chain come off? Yeah, the, this chain is pretty clapped. What are you doing? Brakes are a little squeaky. Is that the brakes? They're like grinded gear. No, those are brakes. But this thing rips. Just gotta get the new chain and then I'm going like balls to the wall to this thing. <laughs> like I'm gonna beat the yeah, You're gonna send this thing. 
The suspension is way better than like Luke's old 250. Like, if you guys want a um, if you're looking for a 250 EX to be in mind that the suspension on this is way better. Why is it tilted so far? You guys have molds. Anything else? Uh, not really. Might be doing a few performance mods. Definitely get a can and air filter. Maybe a pipe. Maybe a new jet kit. Whatever. 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 Yeah. Do a jump. Jump on from the back. A GNCC. Just <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye, guys.